I'm not Esme. I'm discovering kindness. I'm not here for my children. <laughs> Do you think you've lost your mind, Thomas? Long ago. I'm the user crazy who came in. I know why you're here. I'm in a hurry, Esme. You think you can make a deal even with death? Or soon you'll be in the right place to do it. The village disappeared, church fell down, while well, you'll still use the graveyard. Did he call a sapphire? He gave a sapphire to a woman called Bethany Barwell. Ten years ago. She took the stone back to her. I warned her about it, but she took it anyway. She gave the sapphire to her sister, Bethany Barwell. Evadne put the stone around the neck of her daughter, little girl. Straight away, the little girl began to cough. She died that night, seven years old. I heard they threw the sapphire in the river. No one's ever gone to look for it. I'm guessing it'll be the girl's mother who laid the curse. Only women can lay curses. Perhaps she waited till the little girl was seven, so you'd know how it feels. Do you have whiskey? No. The treatment will work, and your daughter will live. Science. Science is winning everything these days, even against the angels. I can leave you if you want. Your horse knows its way back. But I think there should be some reward for what I've shown you. Some consideration. Who can afford it, Mr. Shelby OBE? I will find her. I will find this fucking Evadne Barwell. I will fucking find her. And I will give her money to take back this curse. You only found me because I wanted to be found. And the Barwells roam from the border to the sea. I will give her a thousand pounds more. Anything. You will put out word, Esme. You will put out word. I will put out word and I will find her. And instead of this poor wooden cross... Tommy! I will build a monument to this little girl. And mother can decide how big it can be as big as fucking Nelson's column. That... And ten thousand pound, I will buy her off. I will start looking today. Ruby will be well. She will be well. And I will undo the many wrongs that I have done. Now that I'm without whiskey, I can hear the spirits clearly, and they're saying that Ruby will be well if I make amends. That is the conversation. If you want my help, I will help you, Thomas, if you also pay me. Pay me, and I will help you to find her. I will pay you. But I don't want money. I don't read the papers. I know there's a crash. Nothing is certain and money loses value. Instead of money, give me gold. Gold? Yes, I will give you gold. In certain times, gold is always certain. I will give you gold. And you will help me find this woman. And she will say, I am my daughter. <laughs> <laughs>